Hello everyone, this is the 501st Legion Clone Troopers Pack, or what everyone calls it, the 501st Battle Pack. Uh, and it is 285 pieces, and here in the U.S., it costs around 30 bucks. Mine actually got on sale at Walmart for around $24, $25, I forget the exact price. I thought it was a steal, I figured I'd pick it up. So, uh, let's get all these guys aside here and let's take a look at the box art. If you care about the box art, I think this box art is uh, pretty nice. I like to keep my boxes. Yeah, maybe you think that's weird. Well, you know what? So do I, and I like being weird. Let's get to the figures. First up here for the figures is the 501st Clone Trooper. Now you get a total of three of these guys on the set, and wow, are they awesome. They have re really awesome, awesome helmet print. Good torso print, no no hip print. I kind of wish we had some hip print there to maybe bring down the design, but really cool leg print. And you got some very solid bra uh, back back print there. Sorry, I can't speak. And uh, yeah, really awesome figure. And luckily they came with these blasters. A lot of people, including myself, do not like the stud shooters because they just don't look great. Um, but these, lo these look awesome and I'm glad they had these. And they gave them um, the actual Django Fett or Clone Trooper face. It is no longer Angry Clone, which is uh, which is just great, and I, I love that. Next up here, who's about to shoot you down, is uh, the 501st Jet Trooper. And this figure uh, is, is honestly really good as well. Um, he has a sniper rifle with a candle stick piece there at the end, which looks really, really nice. Now you only get one of these guys in the set, um, and what I love about this is this is like not your normal battle pack at thirty bucks, but um, all the figures, including this one, are duplicatable. Um, normally, with a battle pack, you'd get like an officer or something that you can't duplicate. This figure you can duplicate, and it looks really, really awesome. Now on the back here, he has a jet pack, um, and the same back printing here as this figure. So, uh, nothing different there. Um, another really solid figure, and one that won't disappoint. Now, before I get to the battle droid here, what I forgot to mention in the previous clip is that your uh, 501st Jet Trooper has the same face as all the others, just a nice Jango Fett clone face. Now, onto the battle droid, this figure is, uh, is pretty good. You know, no, no, nothing wrong. They haven't changed it. It's a solid design. They haven't changed it for forever um and you get two of those which is uh really nice you can um duplicate these figures as well which is awesome uh no prints or anything nice detail on the face another another blaster which is awesome i do not like the stud shooters and that's really nice to get but you know nothing much else and uh yeah on to the builds and the first of the builds is the atrt this is very massive it's not many mini, mini figure scale, but it is actually really, really detailed, and I can appreciate it for that. Like the legs, for the first time, I swear to God, in forever, you can actually move the legs back, which is really, really nice. That gives extra playability and posability in and of itself. And I can't remember the last one that's actually done that, which is really, really awesome. Now, here in the back, you got Spock with his binoculars and his gun. That's really nice, so you don't have to lose them. You can straighten this up here. You got some antennas on top. And here you got a nice printed control piece for your driver. Uh, you can actually hold onto the handlebars, which is nice. And on the front here, you got a stud shooter. We all know these work. You just push this down, it shoots. And you can angle it. It's on a ball joint, so you can angle it any, way, any which, uh, which way you want. So that's really awesome, too. Um, now, you got these here, which these are stickers. And they give really awesome detail to the thing, but that is five separate stickers. And that's on one of the vehicles. This is a $30 set. That is a lot of stickers, especially for kids who are going to be more targeted towards this $30 uh, set. So I, I don't I don't like that. Uh, like, even for me, I couldn't align this quite right. And with many trial and error attempts. So it's, it's just kind of difficult to... to to give this to a child and expect them to to do that themselves, um, and even for adults, um, it was it's it's pretty frustrating. But uh, 
I, I think it is a really nice design and it's really detailed. And uh, on to the speeder. And now here is the speeder. Uh, to start off, this thing is really, really sleek. I love the design. You will see almost no studs here on the top, which is excellent. I love that. You have two stud shooters here on the front. Um, it's really fat here on the on the rear end, but it's not too bad. What I like about these vehicles the most here is that they actually do attach some weapons, which is really nice. Um, so you won't find yourself losing weapons, which is really, really cool. Um, you can obviously set a figure here and have them hold on to the handles. Lots of handles for Lego that they don't do that anymore. So that's really nice to see as well. Um, and I think that's more or less it. Otherwise, a really, really sleek design and one that I like. And now for my final thoughts on this set. And I got a couple. Now, if you're getting it for the figures, I think it is an awesome set. Now, personally, I'm getting it for the figures, so I love it. I, I love this set because the figures are just really, really good, and you get six of them for 30 bucks, which is on average five a figure, which is a very solid price. But for the vehicles, it is it is ridiculous. Um, the, I mean, the AT RT is supposed to be about half the size here, and it is just not that. Um, and the speeder, you gotta at least cut a third of this off. It, it, like, both are just massive. As well designed as they are, however, I really like the design of them. They are just not to minifigure scale. Uh, and they also use a lot of stickers for such a little $30 set. You got one, two, and three on the other side here for just this little one piece, three on this one piece, one here, so that's four for the speeder, and you have five on the front here for the ATRT. Now I know these are gonna be for kids, and kids applying stickers, I mean, I could barely apply some of these stickers, so I can imagine them struggling themselves, so that's not that's not very good. Um, but I mean, if we're, if we're not talking about the stickers, and we're not talking about minifigure scale, this set is perfect. You can du uh, duplicate minifigures, you can get um, uh, dark side and light side figures and some vehicles. So I think all in all it's really good. Uh, kids are definitely going to love this set. And I'm going, because I'm getting it for the figures, I'm going to rank it an A minus. I, th I think it's a really good set. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later and uh, peace out.